Hey everybody, it's Stick for Cold Steel. Today I'm talking about the Counterattack 1 and 2. That's right, that's this unit right here. Lynn did a video a few years back that talked in great detail about the blade design and all the super, really, really technical features and why he built this knife that way. And I'm gonna use some of that footage. We're gonna go back in time. We're gonna listen to what Lynn had to say there. But I wanna talk to you about the Counterattack and what I have learned from my very dear Green Beret buddy. Now, we did the tiger claw, right? Remember that? We pulled the ring out and we stabbed with this hand so we could get to our weapon and make this, this change. Well, what's the counter tack for? Well, it's a boot knife. It's a hang around your neck knife. It's a super concealed fixed blade knife. Now, this thing is designed for one thing, penetrating. It's gonna pierce like everything you touch was made of butter. I would encourage you to carry a boot knife. It's far stronger and arguably more effective than a tactical folder. You know, the tactical folder can match the size of the blade and the width of the blade and maybe even the cutting power of the blade. I don't care what it is, it'll never match the strength of a fixed blade. If your life's on the line, and we, you know, you, you never know when you're gonna need it. You might carry it your whole life and not need it. But when you need it, like that gun, you're gonna need it very badly. And for four and a half ounces, this is awfully good protection for a very low weight. This, which Lynn always carries around his neck, is the Counter Tac 2. Now this one, I don't know the exact length on the blade, I'll put it here in a graphic on the exact length of this. But there's something really cool that Cody taught me about this kind of knife, this perfect size blade. A guy jumps you from the back. Okay, you go and get a weapon and you drive it through his forearm. Well, if you've got a seven inch blade, chances are you're gonna go through his forearm and into your guts. All right, that's no good. That's why Cody likes a ring knife that's small. That's why I like the tiger claw because I can stab and get things out of the way and move things and hurt things so that they get the hell off of me. But these are the counter tacks. In fact, you know what, I forgot to announce there's a winner of the Arkansas Toothpick. Flipper Tuna 6255. Yep, you need to email stick at gsmorg.com. All right, and put in there Cold Steel Sweepstakes winner. Put your Flipper Tuna 6255 in there and I will get in touch with you and we will get you your Arkansas Toothpick. Now I got off on a tangent there. Being able to draw my weapon and thrust, 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 many times, okay? That ends that battle. It is that quick, all right? Nothing is hanging up on a serrated edge. Nothing is getting caught that delays me stabbing him multiple times. If an attacker comes up on you and you jab him 10, 15 times like that, I promise you, he will back off. But if you stab him once, he might keep coming. That's the counterattack from Cold Steel. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give a set of these away. Yeah, you like, share, comment, subscribe, and do me a solid. Let's share this a lot, let's like this a lot. And I will give a set of these away to one lucky winner. So from Cold Steel and Stick, well, we're signing out. Thank <laughs> you.